Welcome back to Let's Play Halo 3. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to start the second session of a Let's Play by showing you guys exactly what happens when I load the game. Normally I add, because you're never sure what's going to happen until you've done it once, but frankly this is the third Let's Play I've done in the Master Chief Collection, so honestly this is just for tradition. <laughs> Sorry about that, I needed to sneeze in the middle of the loading screen. How embarrassing. Alright, I'll kill you guys over again. Oh, no, there was just one left, I guess. That was weird. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but there is such a thing. Drones! Go! I'll cover you. Oh. Center. They disarmed the bomb. Sorry, Commander, there were too many. Even for me. Chief, get back to the op center. Kill those brutes. Rearm the bomb. I've got to get these men out of here. But I'll radio with another exit. Good luck. How come he gets to go? Hmm. Well, even if the Arbiter gets a ride and I don't, we've got work to do. This is a dead end. Okay, uh... That's not it. Nah, I've got a few hit swings left on this. Sergeant Johnson is, of course, a uh, Spartan 1. The first uh, attempt at the project. Back then, they called it the Orion Project, but they changed the name after it failed. Yeah, those were uh, regular soldiers who... Ah, I see. Spartan 1 was regular soldiers who were enhanced with chemical injections. Uh, it technically worked. Their, uh, you know, abilities and reflexes and whatnot were enhanced, but by such a low degree that it was not considered cost-effective. Like, they're basically no better than, you know, the best of the regular soldiers. Ooh, someone left this truck on. And it's interesting that we can tell, because I'm pretty sure canonically they've switched to, uh... electric vehicles, and the engine lines are just unexplained. It is 500 years in the future, after all. Ooh. Maybe we got nostalgic for engine noises, so there's a machine in there that makes that sound. You will be the protectors of Earth and all her colonies. I don't know why, but for some reason the turning radius goes way down when one of those things is happening. I can barely turn with any speed at all. Ah, sorry about that again. Anything good happened there. Don't mind if I do. Plasma cannon! For the record, normal soldiers cannot do this. This thing probably weighs as much as a motorcycle, given the look of it. Oh shit, I see there was a guy on that one. Hang out here. I thought I would never find. Is there a grunt with a grudge against me over there? Ah! You move at like half the speed with one of these things in your hands. Oh, right. Assault rifle and a hammer. This is not ideal. Can it turn? Oh, can it? Okay, fine. Head through the motor pool to get to the 
op center. Huh. What's all this stuff over here, then? That's a bunch of bombs. Oh, that's what it is. We're just up here. Yes, we've been here before. Hello, you're going to die now. Make peace with your gods. For I will not be as gentle. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, what am I trying to remember? Well, I do know that uh, when they did the, uh, the Spartan program... Oh, fuck! I bumped my controller. Left, uh, left trigger throws grenades, so, uh, my bad. My bad! <laughs> that was a misfire. Oh, God. Oh, yes, down. Head back to the op center. Bomb that bomb. On it! I think Johnson is the closest thing the chief has to a best friend. You've taken their command center. Have you discovered how they plan to stop me? As yet, noble puppet. Find me what I need to know, or your place on the path is forfeit. Tell me you understand. Yes, holy one. It shall be done. Oh. Have the drones scour these machines. Find out what these heathens know about the arc. That makes it louder, huh? Has uh, directional mics on it. Nice. Hello! Even when I announce myself, he can't do much about it. Oh, he has a fuel rod going. He can do that about it. Okay, now I know better. I was kind of showing off, admittedly. We have taken their command center. Have you discovered how they plan to stop me? Not as yet, noble puppet. Find me what I need to know, or your place on the path is forfeit. Tell me you understand. Yes, Holy One, it shall be done. Have the drones scour these machines. Find out what these <clears throat> heathens know about the Ark. The Covenant have a uh, species called engineers who have not appeared in these games yet. Uh, they're pacifists. They're, uh... Fixated on technology. Specifically Forerunner technology. Oh, that blue field is the one that drains my shields as fast as they come back. Ah! Right. Explosive weapon, direct hit. Yeah, bad. Ah, damn it! My personal favorite line you only hear after uh, the chief dies is uh, a marine going, Dibs on the suit! And a second marine going, Dibs on the- Damn it! A second later. <laughs> Taken their command center. Have you discovered how they plan to stop me? Not as yet, noble puppet. Find me what I need to know, or your place on the path is forfeited. As I should mention that uh, when they don't have engineers handy, they are known to use yes, drones because they're, they're very technically minded. More than you would expect for, you know, an insect species. Have the drones scour these machines. Find out what these heathens know about the Ark. Apparently, the uh, the way the drones uh, evolved to their current state is that uh, they use one of their extra limbs as a thumb. So instead of you know having a hand, uh, an arm that ends in a hand covered in fingers and a thumb, they just use several arms at once, with ending with like two little nubby things. We got a charger over there. No, oh, they blew him up. Never mind. Ah! And we'll 
running. Bunny hop. Really glad they didn't set off the bomb. Hell yes. I'll also mention that the path that, bomb. that uh, the Prophet was talking about was uh, their primary belief is in the Great Journey, that uh, if they activate the Halo Array, every uh, you know worthy worshipper of the Forerunners will be ascended to Godhood, to live as equals with the Forerunners. Uh, they also believe that in this same moment, everyone who isn't worthy will be scoured from the galaxy forever, so essentially they're killing two birds with one stone. You know, the novels suggest that the, switch is on the bomb, Chief. Find it. That the Prophet of Truth is fully aware. Uh, here we go, here we go. Of uh, this not being true, I mean. But that, uh, but this game, I think, definitely makes him out to be, you know... Well, I think the reason they changed voice actors is that Michael Wincott made him out to be cold and calculating and ruthless, whereas uh, Terrence Stamp makes Truth sound like a raving, fanatical zealot. It's like, oh... I don't have to share power with anyone anymore. I don't have to hide what kind of a fucking psychopath I am anymore. Oh, we should go. Bombs armed. We got your exit. A service elevator in the hangar. Head downstairs, cut through the caves. Run for it! Oh, shit. They were... Mm. Okay, let's not think about that. They're panicking too hard to uh, fight me, aren't they? Well, they aren't, but they're jackals. They, they think they're literally cold-blooded. The grunts might as well be cold-blooded. With a methane atmosphere, their planet is fucking freezing. At least I'm told that was the reason why their planet is so cold. I'll just leave them place is going in a minute anyway. I could have sworn there was a sequence in this level where you... There will be a great deal of hardship on the road ahead. They said to a room full of six-year-olds. Ah oh, yes, that's why it's both sides of the D-pad, because I can scroll in both directions with the uh, grenades. Oh, hi. You guys are fighting back. bit in here somewhere with a guy knocking on the door. I, should... I know that's somewhere. I just thought it was in this level. That guy is still there. Oh! Oh, we're hurrying. I think the slowdown is meant to indicate that this is happening within, like, the span of a second. This is just appearing in his mind. Uh, I 
can't shoot one that's been sniveling. Ah, hell! There you are! Grenade! This is embarrassing. Oh, hey. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Anything? Bomb's about to blow. Go, go, go! will become your tomb. I don't think they actually said that to the children. Savo Highway. Achieve an unlocked holdout. Ooh. That's a strong ass rumble. What happened? I'm alive. Please respond. Over. If you can hear me, find transport. Head to the town of Foy. Foy. Yeah, kill that bastard. Uh. <coughs> Settle down, Marines. Somebody hit the emergency power. <coughs> On it, Sergeant. You think the brutes know where we are? <coughs> uh. Ah! They didn't hear from really? Charlie, too. You want to bleed out? Nah, man. Alpha no. 6, they're all gone too. Oh, you can walk, set your boots on the line. See, he's got the thing missing. These are very shiny plasma pistols compared to the old ones. Just scanning them with his magic hand, I guess. Oh, yes, it is on. That's right, it's just hella dark in here. Let's go with a precision weapon. What's our situation, Sergeant? Not sure. Can't reach the commander. Too far underground. Oh, that might be Nathan Fillion right there. I believe his character's name is Sergeant Let's Reynolds. Let's get the hell out of these caves. Let's yes, go! Sir. Shotgun. Here's a new vehicle. I'll it's get not the door, sir. terribly exciting. It's called the uh, the Troop Transport. It's a... Thanks for the uh, ride. Well, as you can see, it's a, uh, a warthog with a... You know, it's a bunch of chairs set in the back instead of a weapon. You can't get in the back. You're just too damn big. But, you know, uh, I think it's like up to... F like some, it's a, yeah, it's four Marines can sit in the back, two in the front. So you can have a lot of guns in one car if you want to. Caverns lead out onto the savannah, Chief. I've got the wheel. Hold on to your I kind of like that because it's not like a terribly useful ve vehicle in multiplayer mode. I'm just waiting on them. It's just interesting. It's like, well, here's a purely, you know, practical vehicle that would exist in this universe. A troop transport warthog. Oh! I was not expecting to get that much air. Sorry. On the double! Hell yeah. <laughs> Fish tail. Oh, the guy's never been on the gun before, huh? Huh? What the fuck is that? Oh, what if I get out? They might. Get ready. More of them. Open oh, it's just a weapon locker. Cool. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. For the love of God, don't steal this, or I'm gonna have to load the checkpoint. Right, okay, a bunch of shotguns, that's fine. Er, oh, for fuck's sake. First I thought it might have been a terminal, then I remember there aren't any. Not yet, anyway. 
Sorry, I needed to powder my nose or something. If you think back to Halo 2, you might remember me pointing out uh, that the city of New Mombasa had in its center a space elevator. We're looking at it. There are pieces of this thing all over the fucking place because it was a tower that went to orbit. So there's a lot of pieces of it. Oh god. I never noticed they changed the subtitle there. I wonder if that was just a miscommunication between the writers and such, or if that was, uh... I don't know, maybe they consciously removed it to take out the religious reference. I don't know. Broken sniper tower. And some snipers next to it. How unfortunate for them. I wonder if I got wanged by a chunk of elevator. Can't get the commander. Comms are a mess. Pelicans are scattered. Best thing now, get some distance between us and the base. Roots are gonna be looking for survivors. Oh, well, that reminds me. Achievement unlocked. Holdout. Com uh, Halo 3 Complete Crow's Nest. I'm pretty sure I know what the other one I got was. Oh, God. Um, That's right, they're not in any conceivable order. Lovely. At least I'll just look for the ones of 2023 on the end. Uh oh, here we go. Landfall, Halo 3 complete Sierra 117. And of course we know this guy. Delicious brains, I forgot about that. Yeah, shoot those guys. They're not running around a bubble field. I said field, it's called a bubble shield. That's generally a bad sign. Well, now we're getting to something interesting. Okay, I think he shut up. Uh, for the record, I don't know that they ever named who uh, Tartarus's replacement as, you know, Chieftain of the Brutes was. Mind you, uh, that did happen, like, very shortly ago, like a couple of days ago at most at this point in the storyline, since again, the beginning of this takes place immediately after the ending of uh, Halo 2. But the timer is gone. So I'm going to call it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Halo 3 when we get back to the highway and make our way towards Foy. Till then, I don't know, have a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!